Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Myra and today I'm going to make a video to talk about the care postpartum um, for you and what you would need for a baby. Um, also postpartum. So try to make this video to make someone's life a little bit easier or help with some things that you might have questions. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the very first thing I'm going to talk about is postpartum care for mom. Um, so I do want to mention that I have two kids. One is two years old, two and a half years old, and I just had a baby four weeks ago. He's about to be a month on the 25th of June. And so this is basically in this month I gathered some information which again I have had a baby before but there is some new things that I learned this time around and I wanted to share them with some moms out there. So the very first thing that I wanted to say or it's not the very first thing that I want to say one of the things that I also wanted to mention was if I did not have a vaginal birth I had a c-section so some of the things might vary and um or some of the things that I mentioned here you won't need or you will need some of something that I won't mention here. I also want to say that I'm not a doctor so always talk to your doctor and listen to what they told you after you had your baby to be able to take care of yourself and your baby or babies. So I want to talk, the first thing I want to talk about is a belly binder and that um, I think applies for both vaginal birth and also c-section but I think it's important to have one because you with the c-section your stomach was cut and so um, everything in there is so uh, still you're still in pain and everything is rearranging and then you have an incision so it's a lot harder for you to move cough uh, walk um, some distance for the first few days so I think a belly binder um, is a good thing to have um, and this could be you can, you can ask for one at the hospital um, but I know that also some insurance cover these kind of binders for you so if you are pregnant right now and you're just watching this video for whenever you have baby make sure that you check with your insurance and maybe they'll be able to provide something for you they also offer one for your back when you're pregnant and um it definitely makes a difference uh with support the next thing i wanted to talk about and also they tell you at the hospital is prenatal vitamins when you come home from hospital they're going to tell you that you need to take you need to continue to take your prenatal vitamins and so i wanted to put that on the list because even though it's something that they tell you sometimes we forget or we're like oh we already had the baby it's not that important but it is important for you to get the nutrients and your baby to get nutrients um whenever you first have a baby you are weak um so sometimes you don't have the vitamins that you need or you're too busy that you can't cook foods with rich nutrients so taking and continue taking your prenatal vitamins are is going to be great for you um now this is a little bit more of a not necessarily a necessity but i would say it's a good thing to have um comfy comfy everything basically slippers or house shoes for you you probably will not be wanting to wear you know shoes at home of course if you want to be barefoot that's totally fine but I um have a wooden floor so just having slippers to wear literally slip on and it's just a lifesaver for lifesaver for me so I thought I put it on the list because it's something good to have the next thing is comfy PJs or shorts um, an easy access shirt if you're nursing so there are some PJs that you that have buttons that's those are good um, to have uh, right away when you have the baby 
but just anything that's like soft material that is not going to hurt your incision or even if you didn't have a c-section that's just a great to have um something else that i think uh is a good idea is to before you before you have your baby if possible um, if you're watching this when you're pregnant, make sure you stock up on frozen veggies or anything that you can put together fast because honestly, whenever you um, when you have a baby and a toddler or if you're just a first time if you're a first time mom, um, you still don't have time to put those meals together. So if you have something frozen, something easy access, have a lot of healthy snacks that you can snack on throughout the day because you will not have a lot of time to make yourself an elaborate elaborate um meal make sure you have those kind of like uh snacks as an like easy to access for you to uh, uh munch on while you breastfeed uh, because you will be hungry and you will be super busy Okay, so I'm going to move on to baby stuff because there's so many things that um, that you need for your baby. Uh, I know I didn't mention a lot of things for moms, but if any moms out there want to comment below your essentials, please do that for everyone that watches this video. So let's continue with uh, baby essentials. So the first thing that I think... Um, is a good thing to have for baby is onesies uh just a, not lots of onesies but whether it's newborn onesies or zero to three month onesies make sure that the onesies that you get have this little pocket um that you can close because it's a lot easier than buying mittens for your baby uh it's you don't have to put extra stuff on your baby and it's just uh, a lot more conveni convenient because babies do scratch their faces all the time. So I think that's important. So if you like onesies, uh, make sure to, if you can, buy them with this little pocket. It's super helpful. And if you don't like onesies or it's too hot or you rather put a shirt on, um, just make sure you get mittens because they do scratch themselves a lot um another thing that i think it's uh pretty important is if you're planning on breastfeeding um is to get this one thing that is amazing so i don't know if you can see it very well but this is called a haka and if you watch videos uh to prepare yourself for postpartum you will know that this has been meant this gets mentioned in almost every video and I just recently found out why. Um, I have a regular pump which um, if you are also planning on supplement or not supplementing but also want to pump not just breastfeed to increase your supply or to build a stash. Okay, whoa. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying if you want to just build your stash uh, in the freezer make sure you um, get one of these um, so all you have to do is if you're nursing in one breast you fold this like <laughs> looks like I'm struggling but I usually okay so you just fold it like that um, you put your breast in here <laughs> um, squeeze it a little bit and then close it and just it should be able to like support your breast while you um feed your baby on the other one and then it just lets it just collects the letdown on the one that you're not feeding on and then whenever you take it off you just press on it and then remove it don't just take it out like that because that will hurt and you do the same with the other one when you're um done feeding on that breast so I'm going to go through this quickly because something is going on with my um, camera. Alright, and that leads me to the next thing. If you are not trying to exclusively breast 
feed um make sure that and if you have entrance make sure that you get a breast uh pump for free and you can do that through your entrance or you can see if you qualify i will put the um website on the description box in case you want to check um i hope anybody that's watching this can get at least a discount or something uh for a pump because that would be amazing all right the next thing is a swaddle blanket so you're just going to need that at the very beginning of when you have your baby it is important uh babies need to be swaddled so i don't think i have one right here with me but i do recommend the stretchy ones uh there's a material that you can get that's a little stretchy um and that will just be uh, a good material to use for your swaddles but if you're not very good at doing it yourself there is already like some uh blankets kind of it's like a little like sack that you can get that's already made as a swaddle and it's like it has velcro i think it might even be called velcro swaddles so make sure you get some of those because babies do like to be swaddled even though a lot of the times um people think that because their baby cries they don't like them but babies do like to be swaddled um another thing and this is optional there's a lot of different baby carriers but I, um if you would like to get something with this material uh softer material get the moby wrap and there's at walmart target or there's different brands that you can get but um, and you can find some on Amazon, Etsy, and they're just good to have for baby. But you can also get the ones that are just like not this stretchy material or this soft material. Um, and lastly, the, the last thing I'm going to mention on this video, just so I won't go on and on and on, is a bobby pillow. And that is like the donut shape pillow um, that is not closed all the way. It's just like a little moon kind of or like a U. And that is for you to use as support if you plan on breastfeeding um, or feeding your... Or even if you bottle feed, like it's just good for support. You put it around your belly basically like when you're sitting down and then um, it just helps you support your baby while you're feeding um him or her or your baby um so i do recommend that it's such a great uh purchase it's a little pricey but you can move on like it's not only for that later on baby can just like lay on it or help their back when they start sitting up so it's it's a good purchase so i do recommend that and lastly I just wanted to say before I end this video that even if you don't um, buy anything from here or, or sorry, buy anything that I recommended or you don't think that you need anything, that's perfectly fine. But I did want to say um, to you, mom, that is watching this, um, that you don't have to breastfeed exclusively breastfeed or you don't have to be exclusively breast pumping and you don't you don't have to be just feeding formula anything that you do is perfect for your baby and fed is best and you know what you're doing and don't worry about what anyone says or what the popular um opinions are always feed your baby love your baby and uh do whatever it takes for you to take care of that baby and for you to be happy and that's it for this video I'll see you on the next one